Hello and welcome to Prophecy File Briefing. I'm glad that you've joined me today and I hope that you'll touch the share button, share out this broadcast today. I believe it will be a blessing to a lot of people as we're dealing with Bible prophecy and as it looks into today the economy and what that looks like into the future. The Bible is a prophetic book from the very beginning to the very end. And I can assure you, those prophecies have not only come to pass, but will come to pass in the future because it's God's Word. And just like we're looking today at the economies of the world and how things are shifting and changing, there are predictions that are being made by those who have their finger on the pulse of the economy of the United States and around the world that are saying things like this. This is the headline. United States economist predicts 2024 will bring the biggest crash in our lifetime. That doesn't sound like it's boding well for the United States or the rest of the world for that matter. According to this article, since 2009, it's been 100% artificial, our economy has, unprecedented money printing and deficits that are over $27 trillion over the past 15 years. This economist uh, has said, and he's not just the only one, Uh, that is said that 2024 is going to see a gigantic crash, a bubble that has exploded like we've seen in times past economically. Uh, We can see that with homelessness on the streets and drug abuse that's taking place. All of these are residual effects of a nation whose economy is teetering on the edge. I told you that the Bible is a prophetic book from beginning to end. And amazingly enough, in the book of Genesis, In Genesis 47 and 15, listen to the words of the Bible in the time of Joseph as he was uh, preparing and being uh, able to get the entire country prepared for this dramatic famine that was going to take place that would last seven years, seven years of plenty, seven years of famine. Hear this word in Genesis 47, 15. When money faileth in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, All the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For money faileth. Hear that prophetic word. The money failed during the time of Joseph. In other words, it was something that people could not depend on. We are also watching in our world, in the economic world, the BRICS nations, as they're called, and others that have joined them that are now putting the dollar, the United States dollar, to the side that has been the common currency of the world uh, for decades. Now they're trading in their own currency. What does that look like? That means that there is a decline in America economically and its influence as well as the dollar. What will that look like into the future? Devastation. There's no doubt about it. And just like from the Word of God, the predictions that were made and how that that laid out in the time of Joseph in Egypt and in Cana, the money failed. They could not depend upon that as many people are doing today. If I can just get some more money, if I just had another million, trillion dollars, whatever that it may be. The Bible says here that money failed during the time of Joseph and it will have the same effect as it, as it did back then today because money is going to certainly let us down. Where did it fail? It failed in Egypt and in Canaan. In other words, Egypt was the largest and greatest economy of its day. Today, people would say that America has the greatest economy worldwide, but we're watching that decline take place because we are moving away from the principles of God. Prophetically, when the money fail was in a time of great crisis, As we're moving into 2024, I can assure you that it will be a crisis time that is on the horizon as we're watching the infighting inside of the United States and wars and rumors of wars like the Bible predicted worldwide, famine that has hit our land all around the world. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching biblical prophetic times transpiring and money failed in the middle of that in the time of Egypt. The Bible says this in Psalm 46 and 1, uh, put your trust in God instead of gold. He's telling us God is our refuge and strength a very present help in time of trouble. It's important that you put your uh, trust, your confidence in God. Some trust in chariots, the Bible says, and some trust in horses, but I will trust in the name of the Lord. Why did the money fail in Egypt and why will it fail today? Because it's temporary. It is material. It is not 
spiritual. You can't answer spiritual problems with physical things. There it is. You need the spiritual connection with God who is the source and not just resource. Our God is the source of all blessings. All good and perfect things come from Him. If you put your confidence in money, money will let you down. Money may be able to do a lot of things, but it cannot buy you a good night's sleep. Money might be able to buy you a great mattress, but it can't give you a peaceful sleep. You need to know the words of the Lord in Psalm 49, verse number six and seven. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. In other words, you can't buy salvation. You can't buy a relationship with God. All things are done by faith in trust and in confidence with Him. I want to encourage you today, my friends, while you're working, while you're maybe saving, putting back, doing your best day by day, like many people are, 62%, as I understand the polls, live paycheck to paycheck in the United States of America. Don't let all of your confidence be in what your hands can do. Put your confidence in God, ultimately. It is that connection that's going to cause you not to just be a survivor, but you'll be somebody who will thrive even in the middle of famine. The Bible makes it very clear. God is our source. Thanks for watching today on Prophecy File Briefing. We look forward to being back with you again. Until then, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.